Jupiterian house number 11 and sign number 1. What is the thing about Jupiter? Jupiter is like lamp. So wherever it sits, uh, it creates some shadow in that house. But for other houses nearby, it is good. So Jupiter, uh, always remember this, Jupiter is like a lamp. Uh, he makes some shadow in the, or some bad story in the house it sits. But it creates some goodness in the other aspects of life. Like wherever Jupiter is aspecting, you will love that thing too much. You will treat that thing like a child. Means if Jupiter is aspecting in ascendant, this person will take care of himself as a very much child. A plus five means brother sisters will be treated like a child. Wife and wife and children will be treated like child. <coughs> wife and education will be treated like child. So this Jupiter uh, is in the sign of Mars. Mars is friend, they are political friends, Mars and Jupiter. So it's not that much bad in case of Gemini, this person can go at very high level. Even though there will be some struggle in business. But uh, with some other, if we have good planet, plan, other eight planets, then he can become a very high person, a high level person. Because 11th house Jupiter is very good. Then huge gains in business. Dignity and health of father. Uh, God of father. Jupiter uh, is sometimes father. Because uh, father always teaches child how to behave. Loss of wife. Oh no. In ninth house it's aspecting. And it's slightly loss for wife. Then respect in the daily occupation. Gains from father. Gains in the government and society help from brothers and sisters uh, three is about brothers and sisters five is about child this is fifth house if you remember very good means of sexual pleasures ambitious gets happiness of wealth children and education and is very clever so he gets too many happiness only some losses uh, in the business, father and wife. Venus in the house number one and sign number three. So this Venus is also very good uh, for personal benefit of this Gemini ascendant. Gemini means lot of this is Mercury. So Mercury is slightly dominant Venus and uh, Venus is neutral about Mercury. So uh, this Venus is aspecting on 7th house 9th sign and 3rd house 5th sign. So he has healthy, healthy and attractive body Venus in 1st house at the age of 12. At the age of 12, Venus gets activated. At the age of 20, it also slightly gets activated. And at the age of 52, also gets activated. So, these three years will be uh, age years according to age, not year. 12, 26, 52, he will get some profit. He have healthy body, has strength of mind, uh, clever. Uh, deficiency with regard to loss of children speaks much on wife and sexual pleasures so here him, uh, in the house of third he gets some losses for childs and this venus is connected to this house too 
this sign number two sign number seven and house number seven the so that much area will it will affect of life when us in house number 11 and sign number one uh, house number 11 is very good placement for Venus and sign number one is also a piece on cake or sweet on cake like that so this is aspecting on child house and uh, wife's wife's sign and ascendant ascendant aspecting means he will be these Geminis are already lovely people and uh, if Venus adds love with it so this aspect will give some good results in the personality of Gemini ascendant this Gemini ascendant gains acquiring much education some deficiency in children so this aspect is slightly bad clever in acquiring gains so business talents or 11th house is completely active and he is acquiring gains and he is intelligent as mercury gets activated as venus is aspecting ascendant uh, ascendant aspecting or venus moon aspecting or sun aspecting are very important in life saturn in house number one and sign number three gemini ascendant first house uh, saturn he is fortunate worry about progress lot of this is mercury and mercury and saturn are neutral to each other so he is fortunate uh, this saturn is aspecting third house seventh house and tenth house so his fortunate worries about progress he is have good longevity worries about progress comes in job he have good longevity worry in the house of brothers and sisters so this aspect is malefic there is neutral aspect on wife and bad aspect on career uh, he have tension about career here this saturn becomes malefic as saturn is slow and saturn is about giving results slow and he comes in business house so this person may not do business because in business you lose patience many times if there are no other good planets to support this saturn this saturn will be bad and this saturn is aspecting ascendant also ascending ascendant and child's house wife's sign and plus 10 means this uh, death house and job house so what happens some weakness in the house of income i said business will be not good because saturn gives good uh, slow results and we cannot uh, wait in business for long time as we need some uh, uh, we have other needs also get some worry he is always worrying special strength in the house of education this saturn is debilitated slightly so this not affecting personality too much uh, so he will he will be intellectual support from children and ambitious this is house of children and sign of wife he gets support from children's that is not too much karmic uh, karmic placement for saturn not affecting too much into life this rahu will be like will take complete takeover of his life this person will be sarcastic uh, entertaining uh, taunt making gossiping this is house of mercury so he will suck all energy of mercury so in childhood this person will be talented but as he will grow 
he will lose his talent because Rahu will suck all energy of Mercury. He will get fame because Rahu in first house is fame, and this Rahu is aspecting child's house, wife's house, and education house, as well as wife's sign, education sign, and business sign. So in this all three, he in all these four things, he will create some hurdles, problems. Uh, so what happens Gemini ascendant are already beautiful and then he he is tall in stature selfish person it's too much so he becomes tall then follows deep and bitter policies and a hurt so Rahu people are selfish and uh, they can follow very bitter policies has self pride succeeds in getting fame moves his ideas more than necessary beyond limit has spiritual knowledge Rahu is spiritual also many people think Rahu is materialistic and very much uh, very much materialistic and selfish but Rahu is spiritual also he have deep spiritual knowledge knowledge he plays tricks sometimes uh, tricks to uh, get what he deserve because Rahu people don't get what they deserve so they need to fight struggle to get what he deserve because he also uh, drink nectar by cheating he fooled many peoples many gods and drink nectar I also have uh, ascendant Scorpio and Rahu in first house uh, so I am also spiritual due to Ketu Rahu in 11th house is very good placement placement it gives very much good results in business sudden sudden profits etc etc Gemini ascendant it is aspecting ascendant so he will be slightly uh, haughty person egoistic person it is aspecting uh, brother's house brother sister house and child sign and house of wife uh, house of uh, child's and sign of wife and house of wife and sign of education so earns huge income gets gains selfishness in the house so aspect on f first house makes him selfish so he will create uh, some problems for childs uh, not big problems small problems for childs wife and education Ketu in house number one and sign number three Gemini Mercury I already said Rahu Ketu don't have their own house so they suck energy of uh, Lord and sign so Ketu will uh, suck energy of third sign third is sign is neutral sign so sucking its energy is not that much affecting bad in life some people working in social area like marketing selling they will have some bad results due to this this person can become very much spiritual Ketu in first house he can go for occult science so this is aspecting on child wife uh, wife education and education and business so uh, knowledge uh, he will give some knowledge to these three things so what happens greatness great weakness annexity in the body because Ketu even is knowledgeable he have problems of body he don't have good body so annexity in body deficiency of beauty Ketu is about about knowledge it is not about Venus like Venus Rahu like beauty then sometimes get some fatal stroke or danger to body means 
he gets some mental strike because ketu and rahu are connected to moon moon is mind and uh, if rahu and ketu are strong that person definitely have some mental disorders like rahu have rahu gives multiple personality and ketu gives some jerks of uh, bad behavior and anxiety fear trauma etc etc feels weakness in heart uh, has great sense of patience secretive and obst obstinate fellow so role he is good fellow ketu in the malefic ketu in the benefic house of 11 so it's bad sign uh, it will give some uh in the ketu mahadasha he this person cannot do business at all he will always lose in business uh, and if in normal days also this ketu uh, will other planets mahadasha or big time also this ketu will create some problems this is aspecting first house so this person will be good behavior it is aspecting third house so his brothers sisters will do sarcastic things with him here will be rahu in fifth house so childs will be very sarcastic and will loot him this person and wife also loot him and it is aspecting here also uh, so there will be some problems with uh, if other planets are not good there will be some planets with marriage also so what happens strength in the house of income he gets strength in the house of income uh, progress in the house of gains progress it's not huge income very much income it's progress consistent i am moving forward gets some unauthorized gains means this ketu is helping uh, this gemini native gemini are mercury people mercury people are consistent people you cannot stop them they grow consistently mercury people so get some success with some hidden strength and this ketu ketu at some places can give magic powers so uh, this three uh, go into numerology three and it is far from three and ketu can give magic powers etc things Sun in house number one, hundred percent exalted. Sun in sign number four, fifty percent exalted. This is sign of moon. King in the house of queen. So king will be fearful because it's not always that uh, female fears a uh, male. Sometimes male also fears. female it is aspecting on career so he will ruin some career uh, it is aspecting on villains so he will be not good at handling villains cancer ascendant means emotional empath sensitive and sun over here uh, exactly opposite nature he is confused he cannot decide how to move forward but when he makes decision he can move forward so what happens he is dignified and wealthy from childhood glorious this is something past life effect here because getting sun in first house is not is a thing alone sun is very good if there is some planet with sun it can be bad thing he is glorious some dullness in the gains from the side of wife occupational pursuits in additional feels some hindrances so possesses family so all this is good can create some malefics in handling villain wife and career but otherwise this son can make this person dope very much powerful like a king queen or he can have connection with king queen etc Sun in house number ten and sign number one. Uh, house number ten 
is 50% exalted and house number sign number one 100% exalted means out of 200 it creates nearly 75% positive effect and 10th house is positive effect but it is malefic so if this person do not work perfectly in the house of business sorry job in the career field he can have very bad career and if if he works very perfectly always behave perfectly in the sense of karma and uh, hard work then this person can go very high because sun demands always perfection perfection and uh, this is aspecting wife's house a loss house mother's house so what happens this son in the career owner of powerful influence he have social influence this is social and job also is a bit careless about land and property careless about land and property fourth house gets wealth respect in the house of father earns wealth through trade or some other respectable job some hindrance in the house of mother gets obstacles in the peace respect from government and society possesses high family is dignified and influential when you have at least two or three planets inside these four houses uh, your mind becomes stable and if you have less than two house two planets in the consciousness or mind here it is your soul and here it is your deep mind 4 1 7 10 if there is no good uh, two three planets in it this you can get beaten by many people and this is also very good mercury this is house of moon fourth house and moon in moon's house so it is in the own house uh, if there are no good planets around uh, this can be bad if there must be support from other planets to this moon if th he, this moon gets good support from other planets it will be a very powerful person so this moon is aspecting villain's house this is good and wife's house and uh, job this is also slightly good so let's read is of fair complexion and symmetrical body beautiful can control the desires means mind control is a stable person has self-respect pays final attention to the family circumstances means he is family man not a fighter day-to-day -day affairs and occupation wants and gets pleasures female energy materialistic energy gets all material is respected acts according to his own will lives independent some problems in the house of wife is famous and is of stable mind if there is some companion with this moon this moon can be a bad but if there is some planet here and it is aspecting plus three this moon will be good moon in house number 10 sign number one moon is debilitated in ninth house nine sign sorry sorry eighth house eight sign this moon is aspecting on seven and three and it will give some good career even Saturn is villain. Mm. Mars is Saturn of 10th house lord is villain. And Mars is friend of moon. So this moon will be on an average. So Cancer ascendant means emotional, sensitive, beautiful. So what happens? This person is majestic, gains from parents, conducts big occupation, lives with great pomp and show feels happy wants land and property does good deeds gets respect of government and society he just want lands and property 
it does not mentions that he will get it it depends on other planetary situations gets the respect from government and society mass in the house number 1 and sign number 4 here 4 is of moon water and this is fire 4 is water and this is fire so this mass is weak if he don't take too much body pain he can survive if he takes too much pain too much hard work he can die debilitated mars in four and is not influential does not get good respect from parents pays great attention to occupation some respect in the house of wife unhappy with children lacks of in education dullness in life wants some sexual pleasure this mass is aspecting third house fourth house of wife and seventh house of career and wife eighth house of death and business so all he have dull life due to this mars but this mars can make him survival if uh, you have some debilitated planet you usually become talented day by day because uh, pain uh, pain creates some energy in you which helps you to improve your standards mars in house number 10 and sign number 1 in 10 it is 100% excited and in one it is 50% excited so this mars is nearly 75% excited for cancer ascendant and it is aspecting uh, property land fourth house and wife childs and past life karmas occult science and four an ascendant so this cancer ascendant will be slightly cruel or fighter uh, when you add strategy moon and mars it creates a cunning person is of great uh, managerial ability his management level and managers are cunning people works for government and society is very wise speaks intellectually gets honor and respect is very beautiful weakness in the body is very dignified and influential mercury in the house number 1 and sign number 4 this is house of moon moon in the mercury moon, uh, mercury in the house of moon so moon loves mercury but mercury hates uh, moon because moon or mind is boss and mercury is servant brain is servant so brain hates mind but mind loves uh, brain and this mercury is aspecting on career villains brothers and wife uh, mercury is known for consistency moon is known for psychopath psychology so he have good health good beautiful physics spends majestically He is good at spending, as third is of Mercury house, and sixth is of Mercury house. So this house becomes strong as Mercury in the first house. Any planet in first house, his lordship planets, lordship signs will become strong. As spends majestically, is businessman and courageous, much strength in occupation. 
and domestic affairs some deficiencies in the house of brothers and sisters is respectable goes to foreign countries moon mars moon mercury is slightly magical combination mercury in house number 10 and sign number 1 here this mercury at the age of 26 will give some big money and this mercury mercury is debilitated in uh, exalted in this house and this house so this is nearly 10% exalted this mercury is 10% exalted this is aspecting fourth house seven sign and expenditure loss house spending money house so what happens works in big way through the power of discrimination so, uh, so he gets profit of discrimination in the society because it's a uh, good sign of 10th 10th i don't have any planet in 10th house so i get too much struggle in finding new job on the other hand he gets job and by using discriminations in the society he makes his own profit possesses some greatness and some weakness in the house of brother this is uh, because it's a lordship is mercury and father spends much for happiness some weakness in the house of mother some deficiency of success in connection with the house of government and society jupiter in house number 1 so jupiter is exalted here 100% and in one it is nearly uh, in the house number 1 it is nearly 50% so this is 75% exaltation of jupiter jupiter will give 75% good results as well as in the first house at the age of 28 he will give good money big money it is aspecting on occult signs and childs it is aspecting on wife and uh, job it is aspecting on education and spending money so this all uh, signs will get benefits childs will be treated as a childs occult signs will be treated as a child wherever jupiter aspects it treats it like child so job will be treated like child wife will be treated like child education and spending money will be careful like a child and uh, jupiter rahu ketu aspect plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 you can count it 1 2 3 4 5 plus 5 6 plus 7 8 plus 9 uh this person will be very cancer is about moon moon and jupiter means this person will be very much talented self studies person like is self conscious dignified fortunate moon will bring luck uh, activating moon's house is very uh, lucky thing virtuous brave in heart likes justice and truth understands dharma and wise gets respect golden complexion of handsome uh, is very intelligent and, and has some broad forehead is tall has children some deficiency in sexual pleasure is a bit careless regarding family has the power of influence is learned and loves strongly is very clever defeats his enemies so overall this is good conjunction 75% good effects in life consistent money 
Jupiter in house number 10 and sign number 1. Again, it is 75% exalted, giving good results. It is aspecting child's house, wife's and mother's house, villains and education house. Is very influential and fortunate, has great mm, managerial ability, solves very naughty business problems, uh, get influence in the house of government, society and father, works very hard to rise in position, becomes head in the circle and is very clever. Because in the consciousness, any planet is good. Only conjunction or etc. have to seen. We will uh, see conjunction in next lectures, in upcoming lecture somewhere. Venus in house number one and sign number four. Venus is exalted in twelfth sign and twelfth house. Twelfth sign and twelfth house. So it is nearly sixty percent exalted Venus. And it is aspecting villain's house and job house and wife house. And it is Lordship of Fourth is Moon. So Venus Moon is very feminine, very much feminine. This person will be very beautiful. Gets power of mother, keeps the body handsome and in comfort. Gets buildings and property fourth house. Gets happiness of house of wife seven seventh house. Gains and happiness in the daily occupation. Uh, means 11th house and Venus is lot of business house and mother's house so this signs will automatically become good as Venus in first house is like rank 1 calm nature and success in family and worldly affairs means like Venus he will be artistic Venus is house number 10, sign number 1. Debilated, debilated. This is 20% exalted Venus. As Venus is. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 80% exalted Venus as Venus is powerful in 12th house and 12th sign. It's in between so it is nearly 80% exalted Venus. It will give results for good results for business and job and personality. So gains from parents and advantages, advantage and power from the government. 10th is house, 10th house is sometimes about government father business and society does decent deeds gains land property owns vehicles skillful and clever moon and saturn saturn in the house of moon it's very bad in the house number one it's also bad this person will get some uh, story of past life definitely this is aspecting on villain's house wife's house and career house personality and career career will be good but there will be some problems in domestic life or friend life pursues daily occupation diligently good longevity not satisfied with wife works with high and obscure tactics connection with sexual pleasures hardships in connection with occupation carelessness in the house of government and in the house of father avaricious and careless means moon is very slow 
sorry moon is very fast it daily makes rounds to earth and saturn in uh, 2.5 years only crosses one sign one sign 2.5 years so saturn's overall overall circle is nearly 29.5 years so moon is fast and saturn is slow so he is avaricious means he has a moving round saturn in house number 10 and sign number 1 sign number 1 Hundred percent debilitated means zero percent exalted, and uh, here it is fifty percent. So overall, twenty five percent, twenty five percent exaltation. So it will be good at job, and there will be some too many problems around, around his other domestic lives. He is expecting on expenses. wife and mother wife and job and it is cancer ascendant so it is emotional if he chooses career in uh, court judgment he will be very good but uh, you have to check kundli for that in very much childhood to choose good careers great troubles in the house of father undertakes lavishes when saturn is well placed there will be problem to father when sun is well placed there will be problem to hard working people sun and saturn are complete villain this is from daily development of business and occupation uh, earns good money strength struggle in the A connection with wife and family mother gets happiness and some buildings and properties artificial happiness in the house of mother spends much enjoys the gains of daily business occupation through some secret devices in the house of government and society some lazy deficiency of having special desire or sexual pleasure somewhat lazy means this is average hard working person Rahu in house number one and sign number four. This is moon sign. And this is Rahu. So this person will be very much selfish. Moon is like water, and this is like selfishness, ego. Ego is very deep, uh, deep concept. ego is have some connection with earth and air so selfishness ego in the water so there will be this person will be very much selfish he will create problems for occult science childs wife career spending money and education some deficiency and some calamity in the body mental distress anxiety in his thoughts struggle for rise in the happiness but this his selfishness can make him uh, unfunctional person in some cases uh, he can become uh, successful also but there are high chances that he will become unfunctional rahu in house number 10 and sign number 1 rahu is exalted in third house and third sign so this rahu is nearly uh, 60% exalted or 50% 60 50% exalted and in the house of career it will uh, destroy energy of saturn troubles in the house of father bears great hardship in trade gets respect from government society after bearing great troubles possesses great artistic schemes 
in his mind and is very industrious means at the place of job this rao will give very tricky selfish ideas Ketu is exalted in ninth house and ninth sign. So this is twenty percent exalted. But as a materialistic gain, this person may not get something. But with moon and Ketu, he will be very much spiritual. He may get better life in next life. and he will be intelligent for the society so it is aspecting child and occult science aspecting house of job 10 and seven of wife and aspecting education and expenses he have weakness in the body emaciation in physics some fatal trouble in is courageous and obstinate obstinate so he is courageous ketu in house number 10 and sign number 1 ketu is exalted in this house and this house so this is nearly 70% exalted he will have very good job cancer ascendant and house number 10 and sign number 1 so loss in the house of father bears hardship and penalties in the house of trade labors hard for the rise of trade bears hardship and plus 60 in the government and society is very industrious so this person have good luck in career but he have some bad habits of attaining business so with this business he gets some perplexity fear tensions and rahu ketu are always retrograde and always opposite to each other so he will be rahu so his wife will be sarcastic and mother will also be sarcastic irritating sarcastic then it is aspecting third house fifth house seventh house and ninth house means plus on the retrograde side i counted 3 5 7 9 so it will affect uh, it is aspect on second house is good and aspect on uh, this house is bad sixth house ketu is not good sun in house number 1 and sign number 5 So thus, in first house, hundred percent sun exalted, and in fifth house, eighty percent sun exalted. So overall, this placement is about I'm sorry. In fifth house, thirty percent exalted. So this placement is nearly. 60% exalted of sun it is leo ascendant sun in its own house so he will be very powerful person if there is no bad plans with sun great dignity gets fame majestic tall is very much consistent and haughty means egoistic does not show interest in occupation and domestic affairs opposition in sexual pleasures and is brave so he is good person and very much dominant uh, so he don't need to take care of family because if someone is very much dominated he don't need to see at family at all time and he is not that much sexual person he is opposing the sexual pleasures sun in house number 9 and sign number 1 so at one this sun is 
100% exalted and at the 9th house it is 30% exalted so row 60 to 70% this sun is exalted Mad. this is very handsome person possesses big forehead means very knowledge does not care for brothers and sisters let's see it is aspecting here or plus seven on brother sister's house so this aspect is malefic and he does not care about malefics he may ask his girlfriend's boyfriend's kundli but he may not ask for his own brothers and sisters kundli uh, <laughs> and possesses special kind of dharma Means there are types of dharma sometimes and this person possesses special kind of dharma is much respected on fame gets high position at religious places means wherever it is religious thing uh, this son gives positive results and remedy for this son is uh, because dharma sometimes destroys material life so remedy for this son is doing surya namaskar moon in house number 1 and sign number 5 moon is exalted in house number 2 and sign number 2 so this placement is nearly 70% exalted it is aspecting business house wife house wife house and brother sister house in first house it will be good at psychology in the house of sun uh, in the house of king queen will feel safe so this person have very good life overall good life so let's read possesses power to travel to various places some witness in the body spends majestically and influentially some witness in the daily occupation and in the house of wife is weak heart and suspicious mind so in the house of sun it uh, gives some positive results but some uh, funny some funny behaviors like feminine energy in the dominant leo moon in house number 9 and sign number 1 so moon is exalted in this and this so this is nearly 60% exalted moon and it will help this person to get education or foreign transfer and this moon is lot of expenditure so it will uh, enhance quality of spending spending will be not useless it will be some of thoughtful so manages expenditure means not spending like hell will sp spend strategically ninth house is many times not malefic good house it is education house weakness in the house of dharma restlessness in mind some deficiency in the house of brothers sisters some weakness in the strength and energy moon is family man he does not want dharma so in the house of dharma it may not operate that much good whenever there is house one activated this person will have some majestic personality means today we are seeing only house number 1 and sign number 1 all cases of house number 1 and sign number 
वन एक्टिव एक्टिव हाउस नंबर इफ देर इज अ प्लैनेट इन हाउस नंबर वन और हाउस नंबर साइन नंबर वन दिस इज एक्टिव थिंग एंड वेन एक्टिव वन हाउस सो दिस पीपल्स विल हैव ओवरऑल गुड लाइफ ओनली अदर प्लैनेट्स मे नॉट किल देम अदरवाइज दे विल हैव कंसिस्टेंट लाइफ हाउस नंबर वन एंड साइन नंबर फाइव मार्स दिस इज ऑफ सन सन हैव गुड रिलेशन विद मार्स बोथ आर फ्रेंड टू इच अदर एंड मार्स इज डेविलेटेड इन फोर्थ हाउस एंड फोर्थ साइन सो दिस इज नियरली थर्टी फाइव परसेंट और थर्टी परसेंट एक्सेल्टेड थिंग it is aspecting on fourth house occult science and uh, mother's property etc seventh house of business seventh house of wife and 11 sign of business and eight eighth Eighth house and twelfth sign. For Leo ascendant, all water signs four, eight, twelve are interchange. So they should donate things for water. Even they are fire signs, they should donate things to water. Get lands and property because fourth. on uh, this placement may not give good results then mars will try to give good aspect on 4th 11th 12th etc gets an idol mother gets very high means and influence to acquire happiness has a good physique dullness in the house of wife family and daily occupation mass in debilitated mass is debilitated in sign number 4 house number 4 this mass is in house number 9 and sign number 1 so it's nearly exalted exalted in this and this so it's nearly <coughs> 70% exalted mass so this person will have some good education and good personality and it is aspecting brother's house and mother's house and expenditure house and this mass is lot of this house and it's in this house so his overall life will be depend on other planets but this placement will give him good education and some problem in wherever it aspecting because mars if is in good position its aspects will be bad and if mars in bad position its aspects will be good uh, very fortunate gets lands and property great happiness deficiency in the house of expenditure has faith in god gets great respect mercury in the house number 1 and sign number 5 <coughs> so mercury exalted in 6th uh, sign and 6th house so this mercury is nearly 50% 50% excelled in the first house at the age of 26 he will give some good money and it is aspecting business and this person will be consistent money means actors politician thieves have jerking money means they get suddenly high sometimes they behave very low on the other hand mercury people are consistent if mercury is in second house and sec uh, second means 
second house is of wood economics its lord is six six lord is mercury so again in business house lord is also mercury so this person will be very much good at money he will have very good money let's read it gets heavy gains and much wealth gets great success in daily occupation great advantage in the house of wife uh, great success in worldly affairs and sexual pleasures is respectable and clever so this placement is very good for money and somewhat hurdles in wife sexual life <coughs> mercury here is lord of for leo is lord of second house and business house 11th house and second house and sign number 3 and sign number 6 gemini and virgo's lord is mercury in the 9th house it gives good education in the first sign it gives good personality it is aspecting brother sister's house so very much good person this is gains wealth due to power of destiny has great connection with god gets advantages from brothers and sisters is very respectable <coughs> jupiter in the house number 1 and sign number 5 house number 1 is always benefic house number 6 8 and 12 are natural malefic and these are neutral signs these are benefic signs these four signs are always natural benefic house number 1 it is aspecting child and education wife and business it's aspecting education and personality so this is very good conjunction if there is no planet to with jupiter this person will be very dope gets good longevity and acquires much education gets strength of the children spend a daily routine of his life with immense uh some deficiency in handsomeness shows great scholarship in spiredness in family environment if sun is not good in this kundli then this jupiter also cannot give that much profits this jupiter is good strength but if sun is there here in 12th and it it's completely ruined then even jupiter and sun interchanged that can give good results but there are high chances that if sun is here definitely this person cannot success succeed and <coughs> jupiter in house number 9 and sign number 1 so house number 9 Jupiter is exalted in fourth house and fourth house. So this Jupiter is nearly forty percent exalted. Forty percent good and. <coughs> and it is aspect uh, it is lord of sorry sorry it is lord of child house and destiny house 9 and 12 sagittarius and pisces are jupiter's lordship so destiny house so this jupiter will give good education if there is planet or in 6th house 6th and 9th are 1 1 9 plus 10 9 is education and 10 is 
job so if ninth house is filled and plus sixth house is good then the person will work in the field which is been uh, which in which field he have learned if he gets education in uh, electronics he will work in electronics if there is planet in sixth house also so what it is acquires much educations jupiter means much education gets strength of children uh, gets respect puts forward religious ideas in some interested manner some deficiency in acquiring fame spends the life fortunately and intelligently means average person do not become famous <laughs> Venus is house number one, sign number five. Venus is exalted here and here. So this is nearly seventy-five percent good Venus. It is lot of job house and brother sister's house. So these houses will be very good. At the age of 12, 26 and 52, he will get some money. Works much with strength and energy, gets honors and progress in trade and occupation. Honor the strength in the house of wife and special power, sexual pleasures. Excess a bit hard of for securing rise honor in the government society. Gets his work done tactfully and is very industrious. When I say first house is artistic person. He will have some hidden talents, definitely. First house active means he will have some magic powers. Again, first house is active. House number nine and sign number one. In the twelfth, it is exalted, and here it is exalted. So this is nearly eighty percent. Good Venus. Gives good education. It is lot of this brother sisters and job house gets grand success and progress through pro uh, destiny. Enjoys the house of brothers sisters fathers performs religious functions gets honors and success in government and society. This is government or society tenth house. Saturn in house number one and sign number five. It is nearly twenty percent exalted. Can give good health, but overall uh, social life, domestic life will be bad, depending on the other planets are good or not bad. This Saturn may ruin life. Pursue some laborious daily occupation through his body means he is hardworking. Happiness in the house of family and wife gets some disease. Special conjunction of sexual passion. Great worker in the way of progress, and works with the power of hard labor and tactics. Saturn in first house means this person is like Saturn, hardworking. <coughs> Saturn is house number nine, house number nine and sign number one. So this Saturn will create problem in education. It is aspecting on a business house. So he will create some accident in business. Wife's house, so he will create accident in wife's life. And villains house, so he will have some stories with villains. Great weakness in the house of destiny, some weakness in the house of God. Get sufficient wealth. He cannot go to foreign. It is because nine is about ninth house is about foreign, but even though he goes, he will do hard work over there. Rahu in first house. He will suck all energy of sun 
this person cannot go to moksha this person will become materialistic and live on earth so rahu is exalted in third house third sign and third house so this is nearly 75% good rahu so he have good will power so he have weakness in the body some anxiety and some stress in the brain feel sinner fear selfish and keep influence so rahu ketu at strong place can create some psychological disorders <laughs> rahu in education so, uh, i have rahu in first house so when i talk i am fumble sometimes and here rahu in education will create some obstacles in education and in the house of one he will have some mental disorders or or he will have some problems in talking then uh, this rahu will create uh, what loss in the house of fortune deficiency in the faith and reliance on god means he do not trust too much on god uses very intricate and secret device for the rise gets the power of success in the end after facing great hindrances deficiency in fame so he uh, gets success gives success but creates too much struggle obstacles like rahu i said so it is house of sun so ketu will suck all energy of sun so there are chances of moksha and we cannot say that there is no moksha because ketu is about knowledge it is depends on karma whatever karma this person does he may or may not get moksha and it is house number 1 sign number 5 ketu is exalted in 9th house and 9th house so this is nearly 20% Twenty twenty five percent or thirty percent exalted Ketu, so he will gives very bad life, material life, but he can get moksha. He should focus on moksha. You should tell some person if he have Ketu in first house and it is debilitated, you should tell him to focus on moksha or going to uh, above planetary systems, because if you are not going to get material life, then you should not. Uh, waste your energy time money in material things some weakness in the body death like danger in the body does hard physical labor is courageous proud possesses great power of sexual pleasure and labors very hard Ketu in house number nine and sign number one. So here it is nearly sixty seventy percent exalted Ketu. Sixty percent exalted Ketu. So it will give some. He will give problems in education or foreign tra uh, foreign transfer, but he will get it. There are chances of foreign marriage also due to this Ketu. and it is aspecting on marriage house brother's house ascendant children's house education house depending on other planets 
it can give good results so great troubles in the house of destiny hindrances in the house of progress deficiency in the house of dharma and god after some troubles get firmness of destiny in the end so there are chances that after troubles he will get success house number 1 and sign number 6 virgo virgo ascendant sun in first house this sun can be good if there is no planet with it expenses house this is fifth is of uh, sun lordship so uh, this sun is good so expenses will be not that much bad this is aspecting on occult science brother sisters wife and expenses this person spends much is of weak enemy emaciated body manages his expenditure by physical labor conducts the daily occupation with the power of expenditure gets weakness in the house of wife gets some losses and weakness in occupation and is haughty he is egoistic haughty means egoistic person uh, remedy for this uh, son is donating water or the argya like this in the morning to son uh, per week once son in house number 8 sign number 1 this sun mahadasha can kill this person during antardasha or mahadasha uh, this sun can kill this person mm -hmm. as well as it is aspecting second house of economics and job house and if this sun is bad its aspect will be good so he will have good job good economics and wife spends much this is, uh, this is sun is lord of fifth house and sun is bad bad position so he spends much gets some weakness in pursuit of accumulated wealth gets some weakness in the house of family means he earns money but he cannot enjoy it work was and done have some problem in uh, enjoying money gets the conjunction of foreign countries etc twelfth house and ninth house deals with foreign settlement many times if there is no ninth house planet some people's get to foreign because they have strong 12th house <coughs> moon in house number 1 and sign number 6 moon is exalted in second house and this is so this is nearly 40% for virgo ascendant libra ascendant and scorpio ascendant no planet is actually debilitated exalted it is it moves to 40% 50% or 60% for libra ascendant all planets are 50% exalted because their house kundli and sign kundli are exactly opposite to each other and for 6 and 8 also uh it is it varies from 40 to 60% all planets so no planet is actually debilitated no planet is actually exalted so they can wear any kind of stone for virgo libra and scorpio ascendant they can wear any stone because actually no planet is exalted or debilitated means not exactly any stone you have to think on his life what he is lacking in and you should suggest stone according to that so moon in first house virgo ascendant this person will be talented but planet is slightly debilitated so he should donate milk to lord shiva on monday remedy for it is this moon is aspecting 
occult science house brother sister house wife house and law house so this person can be very uh, strong soul moon in first house gets gain with physical and mental happiness is handsome is of calm nature virgo is feminine and moon is feminine so this person will be beautiful for the sure uh handsome gets beautiful wife gains heavily in the occupation gets all pleasures and enjoyments is much respected is delightful nature is intense uh, interested in the house of wife gains from house of father in law 8th house moon is aspecting 8th house 8th is about family of wife second is family of your and opposite to that 8th uh, is family of wife gains from father in law is very careful about income uh, and daily occupation wants special sexual pleasure so he is good at sex sexual things moon in house number 8 and sign number 1 so moon is exalted in 2 and 2 so this is nearly 40% 40% exalted moon and it is aspecting on economics house job house so this person is worried is gains due to relation with tough centers efforts to get wealth bears mental distress always likes the increase in wealth family and destiny so this person is hard working need to struggle but gets success at final mars in 6th house uh, mars in 1st house 6th sign virgo is about mercury mercury and mars are villain and mars is exalted in debilitated in sorry exalted in 10 and 10 so this is nearly 40% exalted mars this is nearly 40% exalted mars 40% exalted mars it is aspecting 9th house Ninth sign. Seventh sign. Eighth sign. Means nine, twelve, one. Nine is education. Twelve is about uh, sexual life or loss or uh, foreign transfer. Or eight is about occult science. So this is something kind of black magician person. He seems like. or uh, and uh, mars is lord of brother sisters and occult science so this person uh, is getting long life feel some distress in the body is very powerful some loss in the house of mother feel some distress in the side of wife get some efficiency corporation on the side of brothers and sisters one planet cannot decide whole life and in astrology we focus on getting overall story of life because uh, prediction was what uh, many people nowadays ask only two things what is my sexual life and what is my money life uh, because in the kali yug uh, people gets Uh, rahu rahu in people gets activated and people become two faced and their overall focus is on money and sex so one planet cannot completely decide person's whole life other planets must be seen mars in house number 8 and sign number 
so mass is in completely is in own house so he gets a long life some deficiency in the side of gain some loss in the side of brother gets some deficiency in handling wealth and and hard labor <laughs> This mass is good at his own position. He do not kill for Virgo ascendant, but it is uh, its aspect is bad. Sometimes it can be killer. Mass in it can be killer. <laughs> Mercury in house number one and sign number six. Mercury in in his own house. so he will have good job also because third house is of also mercury and mercury is very well placed in the first house it is very much well placed it's aspecting brother sister occult signs and spending etc so this very placed well placed uh, mercury can have bad aspect so it can ruin occult signs and and wives His tall symmetrical nature enjoys the royal grandeur. Is very influential progress from house of father. Conducts business. Some deficiency in, in the side of wives. Gets some deficiency in the side of sexual pleasures. Is very clear. Wise, skillful, great politician. Is diligent and good manner. Mercury in house number eight. and sign number 1 so it is aspecting this and this job and economy some loss or distress in the happiness in his body and father feels unhappy and weak in his heart in connection with progress lives in foreign countries engaged in schemes of increasing wealth bears trouble troubles in business actually this science is of of old eras in kali yuga it may not get very much perfect but the area of life it is affecting will be same mercury is the lord of sixth sign Jupiter is exalted in ten. So it's nearly thirty percent exalted. It is aspecting ten, twelfth, and job. job 10 expenditure and 9th house or economy second house so he gets domestic happiness gets very clear wife gets uh, the pleasant occupation is thought to be fortunate careful about dharma is also and family affairs feels some efficiency in the side of children some weakness in the wisdom and education intellectual worry is due to the reason family regarding wife is of fat body is the owner of property is very clever and happy actually jupiter where jupiter looks he takes that house care as a child so economy will be treated like a child education will be treated like child expenditure will be treated like child wife will be treated like child job will be treated like child and child's will be treated like child jupiter in first house jupiter in house number 8 and sign number 1 much suffering in the family life some deficiency in the house of mother bears distress separation on the side of wife gets success on the side of daily occupation bearing great hindrances spend much makes efforts in 
third wealth jupiter is a very important planet if it goes in malefic house like eighth house it will definitely be bad venus in house number one and sign number six lord is here it is mercury mercury treats venus as a neutral but venus treats mercury as a villain it is aspecting on occult science and expenditure and venus is well known for very well known for a luxurious life spending extra and if he have very well placed venus then he must be spending too much so what's happening here some weakness in body gets some deficiency in wealth gets a fortunate wife pursues a big daily occupation gets excess in enjoying the sexual pleasures see here he spends money on sexual pleasures progress in occupation after marriage so marriage is lucky for him venus in house number eight gets weakness in the family and destiny some weakness in religious and gets success in foreign countries but <clears throat> as eighth house venus he will get uh, money from his uh, wife's family Saturn in house number one and sign number six. Here it is. Mercury is the lord, and Saturn in the house of Mercury is <clears throat> for Saturn. Mercury is like a uh, neutral, and for Mercury is also neutral. So there is no too much struggle for this person. Uh, This is nearly 30-40% exalted Saturn, so is nearly good. And this person will be ignorant, fighter, healthy. Ignorant, fighter, healthy. Saturn is aspecting on Saturn is aspecting on occult science, wife, expenditure. Plus ten, uh, brother, sisters, and uh, and uh, job. So he will create accident in job, brother, sisters, relationship, expenditure. Means he can spend suddenly on unknown things, online things, then occult science. Uh, occult science. There are chances of black magic in his life. is victorious ignorant fighter healthy serious and uh, is deep intricate policies gets able to children and also the educations the progress in connection with daily occupation some enmity and some separation in the side of children some illness in the body saturn in house number 8 sign number 1 so this saturn can be killer in saturn on the dasha mahadasha it can kill or can give extreme pain great distress in the side of children plus 10 it is children children's house plus 7 it is economy house plus 3 it is business house so he creates accident in children business economy wife mother and job great distress in the side of children get little education is very skillful in business occupation is talkative takes tobacco etc gets stomach troubles and the disease of anus here it is sex life and below that saturn means saturn can affect uh, nearby saturn and jupiter affect nearby houses rahu 
एंड हाउस नंबर वन एंड साइन नंबर सिक्स Here it is. This Rahu will suck all energy of Mercury. So Mercury will behave bad. Where it is, even Mercury is in the business house. This person will will not able to do good business. And this is aspecting on child, job, wife, expenditure. education economics so if there is a any planet that planet will get problems due to rahu talks very cunningly and cleverly keeps his influence gets much success due to occult power bears some troubles in the body keeps great care in the house of wife and occultism This house too much of active occultism house and labors hard. It is about occult science or family of wife. This Rahu can give foreign travels. Bears great troubles, feels unhappy during his life. Great trouble in the house of age. Get this is in the stomach and in the anus. केतु इन हाउस नंबर वन साइन नंबर सिक्स मर्क्यूरी मर्क्यूरी एंड केतु डोंट हैव दैट मच एनिमिटी सो दिस पर्सन विल बी इंटेलेक्चुअल इन फर्स्ट हाउस एंड हिज बॉडी विल बी वीक इज मच सेल्फ कॉन्सेंट्रेट गेट वीकनेस इन द बॉडी एक्सपीरियंसेस सम वीकनेस इन ऑफ स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ हिज बॉडी Keeps firmness in outward show, is very clever, respectable, works rashly. K twenty eight thousand sign number one. Highly restless, restless in life. Fast passes his days with great difficulties. Get some disease in the lower parts of stomach. meets with his major accident every time in life full of anxieties does some hard labor rahu in second house will create help to create this because rahu in first house at least gives some knowledge and worshipness but at second house rahu is very much malefic rahu is good at third sixth and 11th house sun in house number 1 and sign number 7 so this sun is 50% for libra ascendant for libra ascendant all planets are 50% exalted 50% debilitated so get get the income through physical labor but get some weakness in the income and physical so gets firmness in the daily occupation special gains in the house of wife and family get special sexual pleasures and is of lean and thin body for uh, libra ascendant mars control their economy and their spouse saturn controls their uh, native family and affairs and children so they are lovely peoples they don't do international fights they do family cunning fights family cunning fights family drama like daily soap then uh, this ascendant uh, don't have that much very big story their story revolves in small circle and it is very complex to understand for normal peoples 
these are villains these people's libra ascendant are villains at their own style uh they can torture someone's soul libra ascendant and for them actually no planetary conjunction matter that much uh, their maximum wishes get fulfilled with their lovely attitude so doing a libra ascendant uh, analysis of kundli is like a joke because finding thing in it is very sensitive complex so sun in the house will be slightly malefic 50% first use influential occupation gets the gains from wife gets a beautiful wife gets special sexual pleasures on the side of wife gets huge influence in the house of wife feels physically fatigue due to excess of work due to particular uh, peculiarity in income feels some weakness due to uh, excess sexual pleasure is industrious libra are hard working also sometimes moon in the first house this person will be beautiful dignified majestic respected gets progress in the house of father enjoy high class sexual pleasures gets happiness of wife works very majestically in connection with occupation gets honor in the government and society so libra ascendant maximum time uh, something connection with libra they can have affairs definitely gets a uh, moon in the house number 7 and sign number 1 gets a pretty wife and enjoys sexual pleasures gets a progress of honor after marriage is clever and skillful worker gets a success in occupation mentally busy in sexual affairs does good business mars in house number 1 sign number 7 is very rich and respectable gets immaculation in the physics first choose valuable occupation gets very able and beautiful wife gets idle pleasures gets great happiness gets household profits buildings etc all planets for libra ascendant are 50% exalted mars in house number 7 and sign number 1 earns much well supposed to be uh, respectable gets iron minded wife some deficiency in the house of father and government weakness in the occupation mercury in house number 1 and sign number 7 it's venus mercury so this person's venus may get dom dominated this person is lucky fortunate enjoys the happiness of physics has thin and lean body enjoys domestic happiness in connection with wife gets success in occupation is very clever very wise does justice is influential and is tender in nature so there is nothing like extra affair so even it is libra uh, mercury in first house causes no affairs mercury in house number 7 and sign number 1 again uh, this is very dominant uh, place for mercury mercury is like child so it don't have that much sexual desires but mercury is selfish for money so is for fortunate enjoys and in the inner circle planet have too much powers pleasures of family gets progress from occupation marriage gets control over the expenditure gets good decent pleasures with this house is of mercury and this house is mercury and mercury is well placed in the inside consciousness so expenditure and education will be good deficiency in the house of wife gets good means of sexual pleasures gets decent progress in occupation with some success
Jupiter in house on sign number seven does very influential deeds. Great courage does hard physical labor is very wise follows student policy follows occupation tactfully is careful about religious viewers gets some intimacy in the house of children dignity in the side of wife. Jupiter in house number seven sign number one. Gets the daily occupation as a successfully industrious man, great power through wife, gets the best corporation of the borders, defeats the enemies, gets fixed due to willpower. This Jupiter affects education, wife, and child. Business, personality, and brothers, sisters. Venus is a house Venus in house number one and sign number seven. <coughs> uh, Venus in the Venus is own ho own house. So this person will be flirty and too much romantic. Uh, so here it is. Gets non corporation in the progress. Gets a long life, is very respectable, gets fame, gets some weakness in the body. Has very good knowledge of self, uh, foresight, and diplomat, and is, is influential. Is an influential person. Venus is in house number seven and sign number one. Manages his daily occupation through great special powers. Is of good age and handsome. Self signed diplomatic, very clever in getting his work completed. Some distress in the family connected with wife. Self centered, six sexual favors. Means his sexual life is not good. When is in house number seven and sign number one? This house Kundle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This house Kundli is about story of life. Means Saturn in first house means uh, too much ignorance in life. And sign Kundli, sign Kundli is about um, mental health or how you see the people, how you see the world. So if according to sign Kundli. There is a seventh Saturn, so he will think that his his wife is ignorant, hardworking, uh, useless, need to hard work. He will get uh, too much hard work done from wife, and uh, in the story, he will be villain like Saturn. In the story of his life, in the public view, he will be villain like Saturn. Is of very handsome physics, enjoy pleasures very much, gets much education, is very wise, influential, diligent, and pays attention towards big business, faces troubles with wife in domestic affairs due to speech, intellect, some deficiency in the side of sexual pleasures, and in sphere of uh, in the get much pleasure, happiness of property, possesses self pride. Her wife will be like villain and uh, ignorant like Saturn. Wound. He will uh, avoid to take wife anywhere. Feels distress in the house of wife. Loss in the house of father. Loss in domestic peace. Happiness from education after experiencing some troubles in acquiring it. Distress in the daily occupation. This Saturn is aspecting 10th house. So, occupation may distress, accident will be there in job. Rahu in first house will make this person very spiritual, talented. Rahu and Jupiter in first house is very talented thing. Uh, it can, they can go very high because Rahu and Jupiter have special type of study 
uh, strategy. So this gets the work done with great tactics and cleverness. Is very cautious, physically and mentally worried. Gets some fame, bears special blows on body, becomes nervous. If there is planet in plus five, plus seven, plus nine, these planets are in danger. Rahu in house number seven and sign number one. So wife will be like Rahu, sarcastic, taunting, and irritating. Uh, plus five business. Plus seven personality. Plus nine brother sisters. If there is planet in these houses. That planet will cause trouble. Some distress in the side of wife. BS worries in the side of daily occupation. Get some disorder in organs. Ketu in first house. So very intellectual person. If there is planet in these houses. Plus five, plus seven, and plus nine, uh, or plus three, because it is retrograde. This goes like three, five, nine, eleven. So, if there is planet over here, that Ketu will uh, sometime can give energy to it, sometime can take away energy, uh, because Rahu always uh, take out energy from planets. But K2 sometimes give energy to planets. Some weakness in the body. Some incompleteness in himself. Lives in manner of pride, detachment, bravery. Works in hardship. Stays permanently at his place and pursues his works in obstinate. So this Ketu will aspect plus 3, plus 5, plus 7 plus 9 and means looks aspect means look on plus 3 look on plus 5 look on plus 5 look on plus 7 look on plus 9 so loss in uh, distress in the house of wife annex it is in family gets loss and worries in daily occupation feels handlessness happiness in connection with occupation if you have seventh house connected to ketu if you have seventh house connected to ketu if you don't find extra extra spiritual wife not only spiritual like jupiter ketu is extra spiritual extra spiritual extra spiritual wife or spiritual extra spiritual spouse there will be definitely divorce because ketu is detachment either you find spirituality with ketu or either you do get detached from that thing you need to find spirituality for ketu if Ketu is in your 7th house, you need to find spiritual wife. Scorpio Ascendant, house number 1, sign number 8. Scorpio are like James Bond. Uh, they are not good at that much getting fame. Even they get fame, they hide their kundlis online. This is house number 1, sign number 8. So this sun is uh, sun is fifty five percent exalted. This sun is fifty five percent exalted, and this sun is looking for job and wife and economy. So his royal is very glorious and influential 
gets much pride means he is pride person gets his work done by order some deficiency in the house of wife gets sexual pressure gets the power in the house of father conducts a very big business wears beautiful garment and ornament does the occupational with grandeur and pride here it is mars below so these people might have tin full life but there are some chances of divorce or uh, fights in business or brothers <coughs> this sun aspects this house third eighth house and this this sun is in sixth house is sixth house is about villainship rivalry and health uh, in regards to germs this sun will fight very much good uh, against uh, against their enemies will victorious over uh, over enemies and germs and this sun is a, connected to first house so it can give fame also so get victory over the enemies get some weakness in the side of expenditure gets contact with other places does not get perplexed due to worries and difficulties earns his fame and reputation through great tactics i moon in first house and sign number 8 uh this person will be very much uh, talented in psychology and some good is results in business uh, sorry job and wife and economy gets mental anxieties some weakness in the destiny toils hard for occupation gets a lean body takes full care of family has a special mental fascination in wife and side of sexual pleasure progress in connection with occupation by mental power and power of destiny rears dharma incompletely moon in house number 6 and sign number 1 this is not good placement for moon as house number 6 is about villainship and saturn rahu mars sun these malefics works good in 6th house but jupiter moon mercury ketu sometimes and venus such a planet are good behavior people so they do not work good in house of enmity or villainship uh, has less faith in dharma and god gets some weakness in the side of destiny gets more means of expenditure gets opposition in the side of enemies means not handling enemies with good tactics mars in his own house mars is lord of eighth and this for scorpio ascendant venus rules wife and expenditure jupiter rules second house and children's so scorpio ascendant have 100% white money no black money so their life is slightly struggleful because of white money and scorpio are fighters if they don't have good body physics then they might get beaten they should scorpio ascend and if don't have good body they get beaten because they have some egoistic traits like i am scorpio ascendant mm. in uh, if mars in the house of uh, his own house then he is influential possesses short body because too much mars energy is uh, reducing 
good effects of mass is furious and proud some disorder in the body due to heat in the shape of some disease faces loss of mother gets difficulties about mars is expecting fourth house seventh house and eighth house so brothers wife economy and business will be affected of this mars in first house person and in peace and happiness get some restlessness and distress in the house of wife be a some difficulties in the occupation is very courageous if you have such a mar bad mars you have to donate sweet food per week or per month mars in the 6th house and sign number 1 so this will be very good placement as uh, mars will uh, destroy villains and give some good personality and health he is very brave has short body shout body stout body means stylish body does not care about enemies does not means defeats enemies gets honor through will power some weakness in the house of dharma uh, it is aspecting plus 4 and plus 8 ascendant aspecting means some problems in personality and expenditure uh, his work done through in great in intricate means means he is slightly villain type feels fatigue in the body and is caustic is not that much healthy mercury is house number 1 sign number 8 mars is the lord of 8 sign and mercury in first house is slightly benefic with consistent money but in the house of villain uh, it can create some magics it is aspecting economics and job get gains and income is of gentle behavior and gentle nature has long life that's the magic mercury mars gains in occupation takes full care of family through the power of income so he have good economy because scorpio are not good at that much for money but mercury when comes uh, in first house scorpio becomes good for money mercury in sixth house is very bad he will definitely get beaten by enemies mercury is lord of business and occult science gets worries dependence in life for acquiring income earns a life little through some troubles some deeds unable to make good use of daily routine in his life faces anxieties uses secret schemes jupiter in house number 1 and sign number 8 so this is mars mars and jupiter are friend both are male energy so this is very good placement at the age of 28 he will be very much lucky plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 mother and education wife and wife and economy expenditure and child will be treated as child means 12 is about expenditure 5 is about child 2 is about economy 7 is about wife 9 is about education dharma religion and 4 is about mother uh, so this jupiter is very wise learned religious diplomat i personally think that jupiter is overrated planet because where there is jupiter uh, they do too much praising of that person if there is a rahu uh, mars uh venus uh, it's all a game of aspect if there is some good aspect on this this planet then 
दिस कैन बी अ गुड गेट्स प्रोग्रेस थ्रू सन टेक्स ग्रेट केयर ऑफ फैमिली ऑक्युपेशन लव्स जस्टिस लव्स एस्ट्रोलॉजी पोजेसिस स्पिरिचुअल नॉलेज इन्फ्लुएंशियल कीव्स फेरियन गॉड